Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss the integral rate equation for third order reactions. And uh, basically, we know that uh, third order reactions are reactions which consist three different types of molecules that are colliding together and to form a product. And suppose if we consider that A plus B plus C they react to form any product, then there are two to three conditions uh, with the help of which we can derive the integral rate equation and uh, first condition wherein a is equal to b is equal to c that is concentration of all the reactants are same so under such circumstances the, the derivation of the rate constant is very simple and under such circumstances that is wherein the concentrations are same the integral rate equation is given by k is equal to 1 upon 2t into x upon 2a minus x upon a square into a minus x square. So this is the rate equation when we have condition that is a is equal to b is equal to c that is the concentration all the three reactant is same. So the derivation of this particular representation is very simple. Now today we are going to discuss the condition wherein a is not equal to B and it is not equal to C that means the concentration of all the three reactants are different okay and again as we have considered in the previous class that suppose if we consider that the initial concentrations are A B C at time t is equal to 0 so suppose uh, let me write it so we, again we have the same it gives the our product and suppose I write that at t is equal to 0 concentration is abc and concentration of the product is zero and suppose at t is equal to time t suppose we consider that x amount of product is formed from the reaction of abc then the concentration will be a minus x b minus x and c minus x then under such circumstances the rate law or the rate can be written as dx upon dt it will be equal to k where k is our rate constant into a minus x into b minus x into c minus x so this will be the representation and further we will now solve or simplify this in order to get our rate law so we can just rearrange this representation so we will have dx upon a minus x b minus x into c minus x is equal to k dt okay now in order to solve on uh, this particular term or this particular factorial we will consider that suppose 1 upon a minus x into b minus x into c minus x it is equal to p upon a minus x plus q upon b minus x plus z upon c minus x we are resolving it in the form of partial fractions where p q z are the constants and we need to find the value of p q and z so first we will multiply both the terms by a minus x into b minus x into c minus x and when we multiply both sides by this term then obviously a minus x b minus x and c minus x in the numerator and denominator they will cancel each other and we will have one that will be equal to uh, we will have p over here a minus x will be cancelled out and we will have b minus x into c minus x plus q q again b minus x will be cancelled out and we are left with a minus x into c minus x plus z and again c minus x will be cancelled out and we are left with a minus x into b minus x so uh, this is the representation and further so over here in order to solve this fraction suppose we consider that x is equal to a then when we substitute x is equal to a this will be 0 and this term will be 0 and we are left with p is equal to now this will be a and this will be a so we will have p is equal to 1 upon b minus a into c minus a similarly when we substitute x is equal to b then this term and this term will be 0 and we will have q is equal to 1 upon a minus b into c minus b and again when we substitute x is equal to c then we will have z is equal to 1 upon a minus c into b minus c so this will be the 
terms and now we have uh, we have solved this term in the form of the partial derivatives and we have the value of p q and z so p is equal to we will substitute 1 upon b minus a into c minus a and we have 1 minus x and one more term uh, one more thing we can do that all the denominators we will rearrange in the form that is uh, we will have a minus b b minus c and c minus a okay so over here we have b minus a so this will become minus a minus b similarly c minus b so this will become minus b minus c and over here we have a minus c so this we will have it as c minus a okay so uh, we will have minus sign in front of all these terms and when we substitute all these three terms in this equation and then we will substitute this particular form in this particular representation so we will have the representation that is minus of 1 upon we will have a minus b c minus a into dx upon we will have a minus x okay then the second term will be again this will be minus so minus of 1 upon a minus b into the c minus b so it will be b minus c into uh, i will have dx upon we will have b minus x minus of 1 upon we will have a minus c into sorry we will have minus of c minus a into b minus c into dx upon c minus x is equal to k dt okay so this will be the terms and we will integrate this equation so when we integrate this equation this both these terms are constant so only this will be integrated again both these terms are constant so only this will be integrated and both these terms are constant so only this will be integrated and over here this will be integrated okay so again we know that equation of dx upon x is ln of x and we have minus over here so this will be minus minus plus and hence this term will remain as such and the integration will be ln of a minus x so upon integration as i have told that minus minus it will become plus and we will have only 1 upon a minus b into c minus a ln of a minus x plus 1 upon a minus b into b minus c into ln of b minus x plus 1 upon b minus c into c minus a ln of c minus x is equal to kt plus c or kt plus uh, let me write it as i where capital i is our integration constant so this will be our expression and further in order to get the value of integration constant i as i have told in last lecture that when we need to find the integration constant i always we are checking at the initial conditions initial conditions that is at time t is equal to 0 x that is the formation of product will be 0 so over here when we substitute t is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 then all the x terms will go and we are left with only 1 upon a minus b into c minus a ln of a plus 1 upon a minus b into b minus c ln of b plus 1 upon b minus c into c minus a into ln of c and that is equal to i which is our integration constant so we have now the value of i and this value of i we will substitute in this particular representation and what we can do is so when we substitute this value of i uh, we will have 1 upon a minus b into c minus a ln of now the equation is becoming long 1 upon again a minus b into b minus c ln of b minus x plus uh, we will have i will write from here we will have 
वन अपॉन बी माइनस सी इंटू सी माइनस ए एल एन ऑफ सी माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू के टी प्लस वील हैव ऑल दिस टर्म्स दैट इज वन अपॉन अगेन आई कैन मेक स्क्वेर बट एंड राइट ए माइनस बी इंटू सी माइनस ए एल एन ऑफ ए प्लस वन अपॉन के माइनस बी इंटू बी माइनस सी इंटू एल एन ऑफ बी प्लस वन अपॉन बी माइनस सी इंटू सी माइनस ए इंटू एल एन ऑफ सी सो दिस आर सो दिस विल बी अवर एक्सप्रेशन एंड अगेन वी विल टेक all these terms on left hand side all these three terms on left hand side and when we see the left hand side both these terms that is this particular term and this particular term will be common and we are left with ln of a minus x minus ln of a and we know that subtraction is a division function and we will have ln of a minus x by a similarly when we look at both these terms that is this term and this term then we can take 1 upon a minus b into b minus c common and we are left with ln of b minus x minus ln of b and hence we will have ln of b minus x by b and similarly the third term also we will have the same form and hence uh, we will have 1 upon a minus b into c minus a into ln of a minus x by a plus 1 upon a minus b into b minus c into ln of b minus x by b plus we will have one upon b minus c into c minus a into ln of c minus x by b and that is equal to kt. Okay, and further the last step that we can do is we can take t this side and we can make All the denominator common, so a minus b, b minus c, and c minus a. So this term has to be multiplied and divided by b minus c. Similarly, this term has to be multiplied by c minus a, and this minus this has to be multiplied and divided by a minus c. So hence uh, we will have k is equal to one upon t into we will have b minus c. Into ln of a minus x by a plus c minus a ln of b minus x by b plus a minus b ln of c minus x by so it is c so c and that divided by we have a minus b into b minus c into c minus a so this is the final expression for the integral rate constant for a third order reaction where a is not equal to b and it is not equal to c so the expression looks lengthy but this is the expression and it can be derived very easily and many a times questions are asked in csir net also hope the derivation was clear thank you very much